I, I'm not even going to wait until I'm on the right side to start filming this. I am just fucking blown away because I've seen a lot of 55 Chevys in my life. Let me tell you, a lots of Bel Airs and 210s and, and 150s, not so many. Because I am, after all, 45 years old. I've been looking at these things my whole life. But have I ever seen a black one? A, bl a completely black Bel Air. And it's too bad. This guy just showed up, actually. If I come here at first, I would have had a perfect view of this Bel Air. Not that I have anything against this Parisienne, of course, but it's just... Now it's unfortunately because it's not it's not the same. Wow, I, I can't believe it. I mean, uh, it's possible that this car might have been originally black complete, but it's not very likely for a convertible, quite frankly. And I can already tell too that the uh, interior looks like it's been restored. Obviously, like most of these cars have. But that's amazing to see that because really, as you know, when it comes to '55 Chevys, '56 Chevys are almost always two tone. Speaking of black Chevys, and here's this one here, one solid color, you know? It's got the uh, door handle uh, protectors there. Man, that's really cool. There is no way this car, I tell you right now, it's from Canada. I'd be very surprised this car has to be from the States. This looks really, looks like somebody that would have been more of a flamboyant type of an American that would have ordered that new. You know, the type of guy who could have sprung for a Pontiac. You see, there you go, it's from Manitoba. But it could, be, in fact, like I said, be from Montana or the States or something. Holy shit, from Montana. Does, it mean that the, does that mean that the guy who owns this just bought this car? Oh, by the way, uh, sorry, I shouldn't forget we were at the Orange Jewelip restaurant here. Okay, I just made a video of a Chevelle Laguna, again, emphasizing about these cars today with these mufflers that backfire. It's fucking annoying as hell. Jesus Christ almighty. Why can't a car just be loud and that's it? No, no, I, you know what? Forget about it. I, I just said my piece. I don't want to say any more about it, you know? I guarantee you this Bel Air is not loud like that. Now this guy with his Mercedes BMW next to me is doing it on purpose just to fucking piss me off. Okay, yeah, we hear you, fuck. Christ almighty. There you go. You see that there? That's a tissue dispenser right there. You know, this is why, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, as much as I love coming here for the last more than 20 years, and you know, at first I used to photograph cars all the time, and yeah. now it's it's gone to video. But you know, there's a lot of destruction. Right? You yeah. have to find the owner to build. It's uh, funny because it's not even the show's not even officially on actually. Uh, I guess because of COVID, because then they would have music playing, and then it's very distracting and all that. And I like this guy's Porsche uh, sweatshirt there. But uh, anyway. Now, I should mention uh, that um, as original as this car is, it may have the first year Chevrolet 265 V8, but its chances are it was restored, of course, and it might be a resto mod. Resto mod meaning the car looks original on the exterior, but, you know, it's an LS, it's a small block 350, something like that. Uh, that's very typical because then it's more reliable, you know, it's... Uh, and when you're talking about a 265, Jesus Christ, you're talking about technology that... I mean, even if it's rebuilt, see what I'm talking about? Just distractions left and right over here, you know, all over the place. So. I wish the owner was here, though. Hey, that's not yours, eh? He was. The car or the bike? Uh, well, I'm guessing it's the bike, because you look more enthusiastic about the bike. Yeah, no, that's cool, too. The two go together. It's American as, uh, as apple pie there, you know? What is it anyway? It's a cow. Really? Thank you. Oh yeah, there's your partner in crime there. <laughs> cool. I never heard nobody come in rolling in on a motorbike, a chopper playing reggae. That's cool, man. I love reggae. I don't know if I'd listen to it on a motorcycle, but to each their own, as I always say, to each their own. Right on. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, I'm gonna take you, give you one last look here. It's interesting because you know whoever has this car or had it restored, you know they could have went and put like a, a modern day aftermarket stereo with a CD and all that or put it underneath there where that tissue dispenser is but no that person's kept it really really stock as hell and uh, I'm really stunned by it. you know it's funny that reminds me somewhere I had actually an ad uh, an ad to uh, 
from from like 55, 56 to visit Canada. And and I swear to God, this is exactly what's in the picture. It's a black, I mean, you know, it's a black and white ad, but it looks like a black 55 Bel Air convertible, one color only. It's very, uh, uh, I thought it was very peculiar and it's a keeper, you know, it's uh, even though it's just uh, not even a half a page in size, but uh, right on, that's cool. Look, you even have your, uh, your gas door, uh, uh, gas door edge guard if you want to call it that and uh, that was the time man that was let me just finish by saying that was the time when you know it was limitless what you could do today it's so fucking boring take it with your hair we got to have whatever you want on the lot that's black or white they're all fully loaded there's no surprise anymore and basically when it comes to classic cars the more options it has it's valuable the rarer the colors are often it's value more valuable uh, you know, it, it, it's like, for example, that Corvette. You know, I mean, if you have a 427 in that, that's like right away, the numbers, the value goes up. Is that your Chevy? Is it? No, no, because it's really amazing. I mean, I've never yeah, seen one completely it. black before. From Manitoba. Ah, from Manitoba? Hi, it's Manitoba. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's more old cars out west than here, right? Because they last longer, so... Uh, sure. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would imagine the guy bought it from there and he drove it here or it was shipped and it's not it's not plated yet in the Quebec plates. You know, sometimes people even move here and they take a long time to, to switch a place to Quebec because then the car has to go through inspection. So, yeah. And there she goes. Oh, my God. Outstanding. Just this car alone was worth coming here.